Hi everyone, this is Peyton Hatch. I'm going to do another training video. I'm going to cover the quick ground application. Now, this is something I have covered in the past, but my audio was really bad. So, I'm going to give it another shot. Hopefully, everyone can hear this one a little better. So, quick ground, what is it? It's the ability, essentially, another coordinate system creation tool available with inside of the Leica Captivate or with inside of the Infinity program, quick ground right here. And I guess you could say it's it's the easy button. It's a really simple way of taking a job from state plane to ground and having the computer calculate a scale factor or inputting a scale factor from a set of plans, whether it be a DOT project or you know a county scale factor, which is what I'm going to use today. So we'll kind of run through what I've got. Um, I opened up a new project in Infinity and I manually inputted some. Uh, some latitude and longitude so i just created three points that are in texas T tarrant county and i pronounced that wrong right there and this is their scale factor that they use to go from grid to ground so based off of the texas north central coordinate system we apply a scale factor and that gets us to ground so bring this back over here so i went in there and i hand entered three latitude and longitudes with ellipsoidal heights and based off the coordinate system the software creates a northing and easting, and this is where they are. They are completely random shots, but they are, they're good elevations, they're, they're good locations. So if I wanted to bring this to ground, so a modified state plane coordinate system, one of the easiest ways to do that is through quick ground. So up here in the coordinate system manager, I have Texas North Central. It is critical that you have a state plane as the active coordinate system and not some existing ground coordinate system active or else you are essentially going to be double scaling yourself. So do not do that. You go determine transformation. I will select our option, quick ground, based off of Texas North Central. And I can give it a name. Oh, this is high capital letters. There we go. Texas. County. This is a coordinate system I can use over and over again. Just assign it, put it in my data collector, or assign it to future jobs. Now, Texas Tarrant County, they use a fixed scale factor. So this is it right here. So if this is on the set of plans, it's as simply as copying and pasting that right in here. There would be our scale factor for this job. And it would essentially just take all those northings and eastings and multiply them by the scale factor. I have the option of holding a scaled point. Essentially, you can pick a point on the project and hold that coordinate and scale out from it. Now, I don't want to do that. We are going to just scale from zero, zero. So we'll turn that off. And I could also truncate the coordinates, which I'll do that here in a second. Now I would hit create and I would hit finish. And I'll Go ahead and show a report here and I'll hit finish. So let's scroll down here through this remote. So there's just a quick transformation report. There's our scale factor right there. You notice here, I mean, typically, like a will, you'll do the reciprocal of a scale factor. Um, so that's why this is listed here. But inside of the quick ground, no, you, you do use the 1.000. So you do do the multiplication for a scale factor. And I'll go ahead and exit out of this, and you'll see now I've clipped out this image. So this was technically on grid, hence why the image is no longer working. So I need to turn off this image here. You'll see I now have Texas Tarrant County as my scaled coordinate system. And so let's take a look at our inspector. We'll take a look at our, at our northings and eastings. Our latitude and longitudes will not change. But I can go back and forth from state plane to ground. So now I'm in state plane. Column and ground. And the latitude and longitudes do not change, which is why when I am live streaming a map that has not been clipped, because the clip then snaps the northings and eastings, you can switch between coordinate systems on the aerial image and they don't move. So let's do another way of doing this versus doing a hand entered coordinate system. Let's say you wanted the software to create a coordinate, a scale factor, or generate one for you. So based off of Texas North Central, again, coordinate system manager, we both have both options here still. We'll go determine transformation, quick ground, let's call this 
test one based off of North Texas. Next, instead of doing a user enter, I'll do a known point. And I could hand enter in a northing and easting, or I could hand enter in a latitude and longitude. And I can also go grab one from the from a field, from the field, something I've shot, kind of like hitting the here key or just grabbing a shot and set central in the location. There's one right there, and we'll press OK. And so based off of that coordinate, do the grid, it doesn't matter, scale factor is not going to change. It's going to create a scale factor for us. Now that is fairly close to the county scale factor. It's not exact, but it is picking a point on that project. And so there is a very good possibility that this coordinate system, or the scale factor, would be more accurate for this exact location um, versus using one that's for the entire county. But say they're just different options for different for different projects. Now I am out here in the six millions and the two millions. So if I wanted to truncate these, I could do a shift coordinates and I could do a negative, say, six million. And one of the things I'll do is because you don't see the decimal place here. I'll watch it over here and watch for my comment. I know I'm out of negative six million and I'll do a negative two million. What this will do is just scale everything appropriately, but it will remove the millions off of it. Therefore, my ground coordinates don't look like my grid coordinates. I will have a very easy way of knowing um, what the difference is. So that's what happens when you shift the ground coordinates. Uh, you also have the option of holding that scale point. So essentially if I hit hold scale point, this coordinate, grid and ground, will equal the same thing because it's going to hold this point and scale out from it. Hence why we have a delta X and a delta Y shift so it can scale those coordinates out and then bring them back in and scale everything out accordingly. So that's essentially what's happening when I do this. So I will do the shift ground coordinates again. I'll hold that and I'll do create. And I will just call it test one and finish. Close out of it. Close out and I will. So I'm going to switch back to Texas North Central, go to my inspector. There's my northings and eastings. I can then switch it to Texas Tarrant County. Those are the coordinates for Tarrant County. Or I go to the test one and it's scaled it and it's removed the millions off of it because I told it to. And that is a real quick rundown on how quick ground works. Of course, these coordinate systems can be sent out to the data collector so that you can essentially bring this data in, draft it in CAD, create points, send it back out, and your guys don't have to go out and relocalize. You know, they can, you can just attach the coordinate system that the ground was created off of. I hope that would help, was helpful. Um, please do not hesitate to ask me any questions or send them down in the comments. So thank you very much.